Hi everybody and welcome back to my uh, modeling channel. So today we are going to build an Airbus A320 from Revel on scale 144. So let's open the box and see what we have. As most of you know, this is not my first A320 from uh, Revel. It's an old tooling kit, but let's open it. The Herbelin livery is on this one. So what we will have is, we have initially the instruction sheet, and it's on black and white, compared to the new instruction sheets who are in colors. But at the end, you have the same job, and it's still very well done. So you have all the instructions, and this airplane, you have the options most probably to do both engine types, because there has been an earlier version where they removed uh, the uh, engine options and you could only make the CF-34. So the color livery will be uh, Air Berlin and they are made by Hovel and the decal quality are normally very good. So you have, of course, all the views. So this is for the instruction sheet. Now we're gonna check the decals. And as you can see, the decal sheet is very nicely done as you have, of course, the aircraft livery, uh, all the immatriculation. You can do even uh, a Swiss uh, Air Berlin A320. But you also have all the panels and the corregard and, uh, and the structure lines of the aircraft, which is honestly quite good because that gives you the uh, opportunity to do a lot of details on, the, on those kits. Now, let's go to the kit. So let's start with the first sprue where you have basically that's the old tooling kit as uh, I was expecting. So you have the A320 body plus the undercarriage. You also have a, a clear part, a clear sprue, which is the cockpit and the landing lights, uh, correction, the nav lights for the aircraft. So this is the first one. Then as I was expecting, you have the options of doing both engines, the CF-34 uh, or the V-2500 engines. Um, then you have the wings and the tail. Basically, the wings are in three parts. Uh, you have the flaps fairing in uh, the up position and they are already building the kit. So there might be a little bit of uh, fiddling around, but uh, that should be uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, there is a lot, I don't know if you can see from here, but you have a lot of um, plastic basically who spoil around the mold. So you'll have to do a little bit of uh, work on that. And, uh, and you have both engine options, which is pretty good. And as it's the old A320, you just have those type of winglets instead of having the big sharklets on the right. So this concludes the kit review. So enough of talking and let's start building. So we're going to start that uh, modeling by uh, Filling up all the windows with uh, Revel glue, as I'm gonna I'm gonna cover uh, all the windows and use decals later on. So after that, uh, while the glue is um, drying out, uh, we are going to prepare the wings. But I have to say that on this particular model, uh, I had some issues with uh, with the thickness um, of the wings. The mold is not an excellent quality, uh, as you can see here. There is a lot of uh, plastic remain or. Uh, or overfilled I would say of uh, plastic in the mold so what you have to do is you have to uh, use um, a sharpening tool and uh, sharpening a sharp knife sorry and uh, basically uh, grind down all the plastic to get uh, the proper thickness uh, after that as well uh, I use another uh, tool to remove the uh, extra plastic who was uh, made during the mold and um, of course remove this and then uh, after that you we were we are going to be able to uh, to close those wings. So now we're gonna prepare the fuselage and once again I had, I had a lot of uh, extra work on that particular model. Um, I didn't have on the earlier uh, Revel uh, A320s uh, any issues with the, with the mold. I mean there were some but this one is, is honestly uh, a particular case, a peculiar case because uh, I, had, I had a lot of uh, extra, extra plastic to remove. 
So uh, after that, well, we're gonna start the assembly, put some uh, extra weight uh, on the front of the aircraft. For that, I use normally uh, modeling paste, uh, regular play, kids play dough, and then uh, we're gonna close our uh, our fuselage. It's now time to uh, work on the, the engines and once again uh, a big part again is uh, to prepare the parts and that's uh, a recurrent issue on that model. A lot of uh, work preparation basically before you can uh, do the, the engines or before you can start building. So uh, beside that, well that was a, an easy fix, a CF34 uh, engine. So after that we're gonna start to fill all the gaps and there were uh, quite a lot I had to say on that aircraft. Uh, that model had a lot of uh, putty and sanding issues so uh, we're gonna fill all the all the gaps and we also fill up now all the windows so we close them initially with the glue and when it's dry we fill the remain basically with uh, with some uh, with some extra putty of course after that there will be a, a curing period and then uh, they will be again uh, sanding down and curing and uh, basically sanding it down again Now that both uh, fuselage and wings are ready, we're gonna glue them together and uh, for that it's gonna be the standard uh, Revel glue and of course uh, there will be a little bit of a fitting and then uh, once the glue is dried of course we have to uh, fill again all the gaps with a little bit of putty. But uh, that part was not uh, as hard as the mainly uh, the fuselage and, uh, and the other side, they didn't have too many, uh, too many gaps. Still kind of a little touch-ups as well on the leading edge in the meantime uh, to make sure that we had a good junction. So of course uh, after the curing time now uh, we are going to be able to uh, send it down and uh, move forward on that uh, nice build. It's now time to uh, add uh, the engines directly uh, mount the engines on the wings. And uh, for this, as I didn't have a huge of um, huge uh, paint work later on, so I decided to mount them directly on the wings and then start the start the paint job. So uh, initially, we're going to use a very light gray uh, for the wings and uh, and a stabilizer. It's going to be uh, painted uh, separately, of course. And uh, after that, I will use later on. You will see some uh, decals for the Corga. So uh, this time. Uh, I save quite a lot of time. Of course, I'm going to use some. Uh, we're going to paint ahead the tires as well, and uh, after that, we're going to start preparing basically the the wings to paint the leading edge. So I had to put a lot of mask, of course, masking masking tapes, and uh, we're going to do that uh, all over the engines as well, and uh, and the main wings, and uh, also uh, toward the back uh, where the horizontal stabilizer is going to fit. So we're gonna get those set up, put those masks, and then we'll be able to uh, to start painting our um, our leading edges and the uh, engine lips as well. Now that uh, the leading edge are uh, covered, uh, it's the final coat of uh, white paint basically all over. I'm using a, a glossy white from Tamiya 
and we're gonna paint uh, the over uh, all the fuselage and the tail and the engines. Uh, this time I had a, I had a kind of an issue because I've been using some Tamiya but from a different provider and I don't know if there is a difference in the molecule because I had those issues uh, when I'm buying basically product in the UK as there is you're not supposed to have toxic things so maybe there was a different composition so I had to use uh, several layers of uh, clear white. Now it's the time to uh, start our uh, decaling uh, decal jobs. So uh, for this I were using a uh, point um, decal and I have to say that I've been using them in the past. They are a bit thick but they are pretty good quality, easy to work with. And uh, as you can see I use the Corregard just as a simple decal. Uh, that saved me a lot of time and a lot of trouble with, uh, with the paint I have to say. Then uh, it's time to put all the, all the decals together so you have the sheets and of course just follow the instructions and uh, things went pretty easy no issue and I have to say actually that uh, those decals are pretty easy to work with. So we're now going to uh, do uh, some touch-up as well. So I'm going to paint the uh, engine on the eyes, the, uh, the lips basically on the engines. And for this I use some uh, enamel uh, paint. I had a uh, um, polish aluminium color from uh, Umbral. And then uh, we're going to fix the horizontal stabilizer. So initially uh, I thought it would be a, an easy fix, but uh, I had to do a little bit of a touch-up as uh, the part didn't fit the right uh, basically uh, stab didn't fit correctly so I had to uh, do some adjustment later on as you can see uh, basically there was a lot of plastic remain as well from the initial mold so I had to do that and do a little bit of uh, recutting, reshaping and then I was able to finally uh, put the, the right uh, stab into position after that we're gonna start working on the uh, carriage and for this I use a light grey color a uh, different tone of course and uh, I'm gonna paint basically the overall on the on the uh, on the landing gear strut then using some uh, chrome uh, uh, chrome color basically for the for the strut itself and then using another uh, gray to to paint the inside of the wheel so uh, after that it would be time to uh, assemble the other carriage So it's now time to uh, assemble our uh, undercarriage. So we're going to put the wheels together and uh, glue them uh, under the underneath the aircraft. And uh, after that, we'll do uh, the last little uh, detail touch-ups with uh, the uh, engine rotating beacons and uh, things like that. And of course, there will be a couple of more decals where you're going to have the the last parts, the last details of this uh, of that uh, model. So this is the final result of that uh, Airbus A320 on a scale 144 from Ravel using uh, China Spring Airlines colors. I hope you enjoyed that build with me. I honestly did so. It was a little bit of a, of a bit of a trick, but uh, with time and patience, we could get a pretty decent result. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up or uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. And I will uh, see you soon for another uh, build uh, review. Thank you for watching.